Hey everyone, I found this kind of an interesting effect. This is just a standard receipt from a thermal printer, and I've got a wash bottle of acetone here where I've removed the down tube. So when I squeeze the bottle, I just get some vapor out. And look what happens to the receipt. Uh, I noticed that just by blowing some acetone vapor across the receipt, uh, the, it'll cause the dye to change. But there's this other strange effect. Um, after the dye is changed, if I squeeze more vapor across, there's a reversing effect, and it actually causes the receipt to turn back to white. Kind of weird. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, these receipts have like a, a dye in there that is destabilized by the heat. And then I guess as it cools down, it stays in the dark form. So we can also try uh, isopropyl alcohol. So here's a wash bottle with just isopropanol. And the effect is not quite as strong as the acetone. Let's try it over here. So you can see the receipt's changing a little bit. And the, and the uh, isopropanol also has this kind of blanking effect where it actually temporarily turns the receipt back to white. Like that. But the overall effect is not quite as strong as the acetone. So if we actually drip a little bit of acetone on there, I'll just put a, a drop over here if I can get a small amount out. The acetone completely erases the, um, the ink. And then as the acetone dries, it kind of makes this strange sort of pattern. I guess it's carrying the ink to the edge of the, uh, of the droplet, kind of like a chromatography sort of thing. Anyway, if you happen to know what the chemistry involved is, I'd be interested in, in hearing from you. So put that in the comments. Okay, see you later. Bye.